What's up, YouTube? I want to shoot a quick video on my solar setup in my camper. I've shot videos of this before. It's our 1955 Little Gem that we restored. But like I said, I wanted to show you our, our solar setup. So we'll walk over here. I'll show you the panel. Just right here. Right now I'm charging my battery, so I had everything out. So this is a Rainology, there you go. and I don't know. I thought this was like 150 watt. I don't know if it'll say on the back. Oh, hang on, let me uh, see. I'll be right back. Sorry about that. I had to check the back. It's a 100 watt solar panel, and then I got the long leads on it, and I did that so I can set it the sun on uh, either side of the trailer or in the front I don't didn't want to mount it on top because I don't want to put holes in my roof roof so anyway goes from the solar panel into this ammo box that I mounted on my tongue here you can see then it goes through so I can actually wrap the cord up in here and store it when I don't have the panel hooked up um, is on some diamond plate and it'll keep it protected okay so then from there it goes underneath the tongue through here and this is a kill switch for the wire Let's see it's the end of there So that just kills power, uh, battery power. All right, and then we'll go inside here. Try to make this as fast as I can. So then that wire actually comes up the back to the charge controller. And you can see it's charging right now. And then out of the charge controller to the battery. Sorry, we're gonna have to get low on here. So there's my battery set up and I have a little digital telling what the battery voltage is. And it's just across those two leads. And then from there, uh, you can see all these wires. It goes to this junction box here and from there it goes out to the different uh, lighting switch switches and lights that i have set up in the trailer and i'll show you those in a minute and then for like 110 volt i have an inverter that i just clamp onto there and then i just plug my tv into that through this hole you know because right above here that's where that's my tv stand my wife's gonna kill me because she just mopped in here and then when they get it all dirty, she'll be pissed. So, right here I have this little switch and that turns on these low voltage lights. I have two of those out in the center. There. And then I have another little switch right here which operates this one. I have a bed right here. This turns into a bed. So that's the light for that. And then over here I have, this is for a fan, for my exhaust fan. And then this switch turns on my under counter lights, my strip lights. And then over here, this one turns on that light. So, that's really all I have in here, and that's really all we need for uh, the battery uh, is some lighting, and then, like I said, uh, my inverter, and this is the inverter I use right here. The old diehard 750 watt, and that runs my little 19 inch flat screen TV, uh, which is a DVD TV combo. And that's it. 
So she just cleaned, so it was a good time to show everybody the trailer anyway. But yeah, so that's my solar setup. Uh, when we don't have power, we're going camping in South Dakota in a couple weeks, and we'll have we'll have power plugged in. And I'll show you how that actually sets up. Um, so we just plug in the the cord to the power supply, which is over there, and then uh, I have outlets and lights and everything in there. So anyway. Wanted to share that with you guys. Uh, this whole kit cost me like 180 bucks or something, or right around 200 dollars. And that's for the solar panel, the cable, the charge controller, um, and that's it. And these are cool because they just plug in. I just unplug them. And like I said, store this part of the cable in that ammo box that's mounted to the front of my vehicle. And then I just set this on the bed uh, while we're traveling, and then I'll just get it out and use it. And actually, I'm about to switch it because the sun's in a new spot. So anyway, that's it. Like I said, I just wanted to share that with you guys.